As a child, I really enjoyed seeing how things worked. I also really enjoyed chemistry and learning about reactions. Chemical engineers will study how to use the chemistry in order to solve engineering problems. You really have to be willing to work with a bunch of different fields, operations, the maintenance team to collaboratively solve a problem and maximize production. The visual hands-on is so important in understanding where your plant is at, what it's doing, what constraints are. So getting out in the field, getting your hands dirty, taking a look around is a key point of being able to understand the process. Are we gonna turn the spray bars back on and knock it back down? Hydromed is the process of extracting a mineral from an ore body with the use of solutions. Oh, that's so smooth. Mm -hmm. Looks good, no frog eggs. Copper is a fantastic mineral. Not only is in all of your electronic devices due to the electrical properties of it, but it's also antibacterial, which means that bacteria just doesn't want to grow on it. It can't be fabricated, you can't create it. It does have to be mined. So here at Baghdad, we take the rock that's placed onto our stockpiles put a light sulfuric acid solution onto it, which involves a chemical reaction. That copper then becomes in solution. Our leach stockpiles, they are piles of dirt, but it is a huge bioreactor. There's a lot of different chemical means. There's a lot of biological things that are happening within that stockpile. So it's a neat challenge on that side too, because we don't have an eye inside the stockpile. If something's not reacting the way we expect it to, we have to use that chemistry of what we put on and what we're getting out the bottom to be able to infer what's happening inside the stockpile. We take it down to a plant, we concentrate it, and then we send it to the tank house. It's like a giant battery, in which case we apply electric current to it, and that copper is extracted from solution and plated onto some copper sheets, which is our final product. Through the use of science and engineering and mathematics, we're able to further the process and really optimize how do we create a final product economically, which allows us to continue to operate the existing mines and continue to further optimize the assets that we already have. I really enjoy being a woman in mining. So I do think women approach problems a little different to men in the mining industry. They're able to offer a lot of different insight and different views onto what the problem is and how we're able to come up with solutions. Uh, it's really encouraging to, to have your voice heard and, and be able to be respected no matter your gender. There's a lot of opportunities for women in the mining industry. Continue to challenge yourself. Be open to ideas and concepts. Don't let problems stand in your way. There's always a modern approach to solving every question out there. When I went into chemical engineering, I didn't expect to end up in mining, but I'm really glad I did. It's been an amazing field. The possibilities are endless. You can do anything with an engineering or science background.